Hello, it's John Burford with Chart of the Week for Monday the 8th of July and today I'm covering a share which everybody loves to hate, that's Centrica, the owner of British Gas, uh, which has had many negative reviews for service and, and prices and everything, in fact, everything in the book. Um, so we are at a 20-year low here and that takes some doing. You know, as all the major stock indexes are at or near their all-time highs. So, um, something is amiss. So, let's take a look at the chart. I'm looking at um, the move off the £4 uh, level here in 2013. And it's in the form of five waves. One, two, three, long and strong. Four, in the shape of an ABC. And now we're in the fifth wave, which is also one, two, three, four, five, five waves. So this looks interesting. We have a momentum divergence down here, which means that the selling pressure is definitely drying up, certainly on a monthly basis. So this is an ideal setup for a reversal. And if I'm right, we should get a reversal pretty soon, if not now. Um, and I'm looking at a rally eventually up to perhaps the 250 area. But let me not uh, get carried away too much. We'll go to the weekly chart that shows this final fifth wave. All right, here it is. It's the big wave four, big wave five. And I believe this is the first wave down, which I'm marking as an A wave. And the uh, decline it has these lovely tram lines. They're pretty accurate, accurate touch points. Down here, down here, we've got wave one, two, three with an overshoot, which is fit typical in third waves. An ABC uh, a form for wave four. And we've got a one, two, three, four, five wave pattern in purple wave five, which is wave five of red wave five. So we've got five. I should say three coincident fifth waves working at this 88 pence level. Now I'm uh, saying that uh, the reversal should happen at any time. Of course it could go a bit lower below the 88 level but I think the um, the downside is quite limited uh, but the upside I think is quite substantial especially if we see some surprises this summer. So we've got a big momentum divergence on the weekly as well, and that encourages me to believe that we could well eventually, perhaps next year, see uh, a rally up to not this level, but that level there, the 250 level. All right, so as a bonus beyond the uh, charts that I showed in the uh, print version of Chart of the Week, this is the daily chart of the most recent action. This is the most recent high here. I believe this is wave one, wave two, we've got a big wave three, long and strong, wave four, and we're in another wave five. So that's the, the, uh, the, the third um, fifth wave pattern that I've spotted in the chart. Also, what we've got here is a gap, and that, became, that was closed later on in the push to wave four. We've got another gap here and another gap here, and neither of those have been closed yet. And we have another nice momentum divergence, which means that on the daily chart, on the scale of the daily chart, uh, we've got uh, a, a situation where the selling pressure is definitely drying up. So we could see some, prize, some surprises this year. Um, and if we get some nice positive surprises, I can see the 250 level uh, which is up around here, 240, 250 would be about right for a counter trend rally. But the first uh, targets would be these gaps, that one and that one, and filling those, I'd say this would be my next level for a target and then beyond.